Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Metropolis Radio. Now, I didn't intend to record a video today either. Yesterday's video was uh, Chris Rock finally addressing the uh, the Will Smith uh, bitch slapping him up on stage. But uh, something I just found out is that uh, The Irregulars was canceled from Netflix. And I know, real surprise, surprise, surprise there. But I figured that that I, I figured that that this warranted its own video because it basically contributes to Netflix's decline. If we're being enti entirely honest, um, and that is this article from Screener here: Why the Irregulars was canceled? What went wrong? Well, what went wrong was it was on Netflix, and that's pretty much all you needed to know. But but it, this article goes in a, li a little more in depth, so I, I'm not I'm not going to shortchange you by only making this video like a minute long. Uh, why did Netflix cancel The Irregulars? Here's what most likely went wrong, despite the series' favorable reviews and long-term potential. Why did Netflix cancel The Irregulars? The first installment of the mystery crime drama earned favorable reviews, and season two was rumored to have been greenlit prior to the series' premiere. Whoops! Uh, yeah, kind of like how Glow had, the, had their fourth season greenlit, but then canceled after covid for no for really no explainable reason other than netflix just canceled it um yet netflix canceled the irregulars after season one clearly something went wrong in the months after after the march 2021 release based on netflix's history of cancellations the irregulars and its cast and crew may have been the victims of circumstance and unfortunate timing yes welcome to netflix and guys, over the years, Netflix has also openly touted that no human actually decides what shows get greenlit or canceled. It's all based on algorithms. So no one is operating on a hunch. You basically have a machine determining this show bad, this show good. Let's not, let's, let's cancel the fourth season of Glow but let's do a, you know, but let's do another season of, of really crappy show that nobody watches. I can't keep all the Netflix originals straight, and I'm not even going to fucking attempt to. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. The Irregular seemingly had massive pop culture appeal because of its literary source material and quirky, an um, uh, and, and quirky an um, anachronism. Sorry, I, I've, you know... I, I, I had a brain fart. Uh, the storyline was, was inspired by the Baker Street regulars from Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's novels and followed the title characters as they investigate crimes in their native London. The cases tackled by the irregular star team by the irregular as a star team are often violent and disturbing, in addition to, quir to quirkly supernatural. In Tom Bidwell's Netflix adaptation, the protagonists are hired by John, by John Watson, played by Royce Pearson, instead of his legendary partner Sherlock Holmes, played by Henry Lloyd Hughes. Uh, let me scroll down a little bit. Here we go. The Irregulars cast of characters include, include, uh, include Thetagram as B, uh, Darcy Shaw as Jesse, Mikel David as Spike, Jojo, Jojo, Ma um, um, Jojo Macri as Billy, and Harrison Osterfield as Prince Leopold, the Duke of, Al the Duke of Albany. After the show debuted, it was reported that the irregular season two was greenlit based on the popularity of Anola Holmes, and the critically acclaimed series ultimately made Netflix's trending title list. Despite this, as people know now, the irregulars was canceled. Netflix officially canceled the irregulars on May four. Uh, officially canceled the irregulars on May four, twenty twenty one, but didn't provide a specific reason. The decision came approximately six weeks after the March 26th series premiere, which aligns with the streaming service's usual timeline for announcements. Technically, however, Netflix never officially announced that The Irregular Season 2 had been ordered. Most likely, there are two main reasons why The Irregulars was canceled prior to its second installment. Either the viewing numbers weren't impressive, or scheduling conf conflicts halted the production. Or, a third option is Netflix allowed a machine to make the, the decision to cancel the show... And no human ever reviewed it because remember, remember, I said this earlier, Netflix has been openly touting that they use algorithms to determine what shows are greenlit and which shows are canceled. But yes, the, the six, the, the six week timeline, the exact, the exact thing that happened for a show, I think it was called, I think it was called Away. Uh, it's, it's the one with Hillary Swank where she's the astronaut. I don't remember what it's called. I believe, it, I believe it was called Away. And yeah, after after being a top trending series 
for like the first month of release. They just all oh, six weeks later just cancel it. Uh, just uh, just out of nowhere, they also cancel Space Force after the second season. For really, for really no explainable reason. So yeah, Net- Netflix has been canceling shows left and right. And huh, I wonder why Netflix is going down the fucking tubes. Enough of the tangents, let's get right back into this. Uh, assuming that all of the main cast members wanted to move forward with the irregular season two, Netflix may have canceled the series because it didn't project to be a multi-season hit. The first installment does indeed end with conflict resolution and the protagonist seemingly prepare for new gigs with Mr. Watson, but the streaming numbers over several weeks may have shown that lockdown, stre- that lockdown streamers weren't fully invested in the Irregulars' eight-episode narrative. So, wait a minute. This show had a beginning, middle, and end in case if it didn't have a second season, and that's the, and that's the only thing that killed the the Irregulars. So, had they left it more open, may, had they left it more open, like, let's say, Jupiter's Legacy, then then Netflix would have greenlit it? Talk about Talk about a bunch of fucking bullshit. Because Net- Netflix didn't d- didn't do that with Jupiter's Legacy, an eight episode narrative where absolutely nothing fucking happened. I review I reviewed it at- I reviewed it at the time. I do I do remember I do remember this, and yeah, an eight episode narrative with that basically nothing fucking went on other than the origin story, and then oh, Utopian's brother is the is the villain all along. Oh, season one over. Come back for season two to see the exciting conclusion to this story that we should have concluded in the first season. <laughs> it's impossible to say why Netflix canceled the whoops, I Yeah, I hit the wrong freaking button and I know you guys can't see my screen, but eh, whatever. I'm lazy to edit all this out. Um, it's impossible to say why Netflix canceled the Sherlock Holmes series, The Irregulars, for certain, as the streaming giant relies on a complex algorithm and data points to determine "quote unquote" worth. None of which, none of which they make available to the public. I was right. I was right when I said that they use a fucking algorithm. So for all of you that are saying I'm just pulling shit out of my ass and claiming it's gold, here, here you go. Screen ran even fucking acknowledges this. As industry norms continue to change during the COVID-19 era, Netflix may have decided to be more selective about its funding. The cancellation of the regular season two may be shocking to fans, but there's indeed a precedent in place at Netflix. The streaming service canceled the critical hit Tuca and Birdie after season one, presumably because of low viewing numbers, while the popular science fiction show The OA was canceled after season two and left fans with an unresolved cliffhanger. Even the popular, even the popular Netflix show Mindhunter seems to be done after two seasons, apparently because of creator David Fincher's scheduling conflicts. As for the Irregulars, the Netflix show re- resonated reasonably well with critics, but Netflix clearly saw a significant dip in streaming numbers after, after its initial release. They also forgot to include the fact that Netflix canceled Glow despite them greenlighting the fourth and final season, and then in October of 2020. Oh, yeah, um, Glow, Glow has been canceled, um, so that cliffhanger at the end of season three, yeah, it's never gonna get resolved. So all of you people that were thinking about getting into Glow after the fourth season came out, well, don't waste your fucking time because this cliffhanger is never, is never gonna get resolved. Netflix recently went through a period of canceling a range of fan favorite shows, but why? Series like the women's wrestling show Glow and the widely viewed The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina got the axe not even being allowed to finish out their final storylines. Random hit shows like Archive 81 and She's Gotta Have It are also canceled despite significant fan engagement. Netflix did blame random factors for the mass exodus of shows such as the COVID-19 pandemic affecting production schedules. Yeah, it's all fucking COVID's fault. You know, I, 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 I think I said this a few months ago that all of these Hollywood studios and big production companies are, are going to blame COVID for everything. It's COVID-19 is going to be the new 2008, right? It, like, remember how businesses always use the 2008 financial crisis to write off all of their problems? It's like, well, why, why are revenues down? Well, you know, we never really recovered beyond the 2008 financial crisis. It's 2019, why are you still blaming 2008? Well, you know, 2008 was a really, really rough time, and that's why revenues have been on a decline for the last 11 years. <laughs> um, 
Um, anyway, let, let's get back into here. Uh, Netflix did blame random factors for the, mass of, for the mass exodus of shows such as the COVID-19 pandemic affecting production schedules, but that hasn't stopped that hasn't stopped some from from from. from but that hasn't stopped some scrapped series, such as the canceled one day at a time, from being optioned by other networks. It seems that Netflix's cancellations are instead indicative of a larger problem. The streaming service isn't listening to its viewers. Sure, shows get canceled for poor ratings all, all the time. Yes, they yes, they do, even even on even on network television. Um, but people aren't able to see the numbers behind Netflix's so-called science. By not listening to their viewers, Netflix keeps canceling popular shows like The Irregulars long before their time has run out. In the end, this could lead to a massive migration of, of customers to other streaming platforms as they follow their favorite properties elsewhere. Huh, have you not seen their stock dip recently? And, um... Uh, and their and their and their Q2 losses. You know, here is a good anecdote of of Netflix right now in the moment. Yes, Netflix is absolutely diving off of the cliff because of years and years and years of compounding problems. What doesn't help is that they keep canceling shows left, right, up, down, and center. Now, sure, shows like Orange is the New Black, House of Cards got their full runs, but to be fair, those shows were greenlit when Netflix was a relatively new network. So they had to see those shows out to the end to show, the, to show other content producers that, hey, you can jump over to our platform. You can, you can skip going to ABC, CBS, NBC, these legacy television networks, come over to Netflix, and we will give you full season orders, and you don't have to abide by broadcast standards. If you want to make your episodes 48 minutes, you can make them 48 minutes. We're not going to force you to chop it out. We're not going to force you to cut the show down to 42 minutes so it fits within a one-hour time slot with, with all of the ad breaks. You don't even have to write ad breaks into the show. No, no, no. You can just, you know, write, write the episode however long you want it. But now that they're canceling shows left, right, up, down, and center, why would anybody agree to... Why, why would anybody pitch their show to Netflix at this point? Because it's really up in the air uh, if the show's even going to get canceled or not beyond the first season. And odds are, your show is... Your, your, after your show's been greenlit for season one... The, the, the odds are it's going to get canceled before a second season is even greenlit. So why even waste your fucking time with Netflix at this point? And guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Way, before I drag this out way, way longer than it needs to be, let me know if you guys were a fan of The Irregulars. That was a show I meant to watch, but I kept putting it off, and then I canceled Netflix after they hiked the price to like 18 bucks a month. It's like, yeah, I'm not really watching Netflix enough to really justify the cost. So... So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel it. But yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of the irregulars if you've seen it. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and truly end it right here before I drag this out way longer than it needs to be. If you stuck around this long, thanks so much for doing so. And if you've been following me long enough, you know I'm terrible at ending these videos. So I'll just see you guys uh, next time.